April, Friday the 13th today. It's snowing right now. Making tteokbokki for dinner tonight. Smells so good. My brother brought over this coffee this morning. Toasted coconut. It really does smell coconutty. So I'll see what it tastes like in a bit. Watching Mad Dog right now. My order from Forever 21 has arrived. They always give such a big box for a small object. <laughs> and now this time it's in a bag too. I got these. I'm gonna give it a try. The review for this one was really good and this one um, I just want to see what it smells like, really. <laughs> Lavender strips. Um, so, yeah, maybe I will use these tonight. I'll probably use this one first because of the good reviews it has. These are both um, Korean brands. 
Uh, my skin's pretty sensitive towards most products. That's why I don't use much products to begin with. So I'm hoping these are going to result in good outcomes. This one is mine. I'm so excited to eat it. <laughs> Hey, good evening everyone. Um, just got home not too long ago from having dinner with Clara, Teresa, and Derek. Just wanted to show you what Teresa got me. Um, I actually haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what's in here. There's a ton of tissue paper. There's mink chocolates. There's a panda notebook from Daiso. Just regular lined pages, but the front is super cute. Um, what else is here? A panda little keychain thing. I love pandas, can you tell? <laughs> and a David's tea mug. Okay, let's open it and see what it looks like. So it has the diffuser. It has the lid. Itself looks like this. I think this is one of those ones that changes colors, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I guess I'll find out when I use it. But it's purple because my favorite color is purple. <laughs> so thank you, Teresa. Good evening, everyone. Guess what this is? Oh, it's heavy. This side doesn't look as nice, but there are some marks here. This is the nice side. That's why I put the ribbon this way. <laughs> this is called a fig leaf gird and it is grown in my backyard. It's been in my backyard for several years now. It started out as a little plant and now it's like every summer it seems like it's growing bigger and bigger like the vines and stuff. It's a type of squash. Um, in Asia people call it shark fin melon because the texture of it is similar to shark fin. So it's like the vegetable shark fin type of thing um like the texture to me sort of resembles um a cross between spaghetti squash and clear vermicelli noodles but whatever most people think it resembles shark fin so i'll stick with that um we opened one this evening so that i can give half of it to my co-worker diane tomorrow and right now I'm just preparing like a, a recipe thing for her because she doesn't know how to cook it. Um, yeah, I will 
maybe share some of my homemade recipes with you guys later but it's not available here as far as i know um like grocery stores don't have it so it's pretty rare it's only in my backyard <laughs> I'm done writing the recipe card.